Hello, Azumi here, and we're going to do some Slepnir 8-star multi-solo. First we got uh, Brunhild, and this is my gear for her. Then we got Sandgrid. I know most people probably don't have her. I've got her mainly set up to be tanky just to defend everybody else and her passive. Um, Genesis Ymir, just, you know, his basic gear plus a Valhalla staff. Then we got Hell. Just a whole bunch more dark gear. And feel free to level your gear up a little more than mine. And then Gulvig. So, nothing really too special. Let's get on with the fight. So, here we go with Hollowed Slepnir. Slepnir is grounded and is considered a beast. The targeted races for this fight are Humans, Elves, Therian, Jotun, and Beast. Slepnir's auto skill inflicts petrification on them, so you can use hard stones to counteract that. Um, his auto skill also restores his own health points, so you'll see that happening during this fight sometimes. Um, on 8 star... Slepnir has Eclipse Field on his second and third HP bars. So that's just going to make it a little harder for you to heal, but the whole point is is you're going to you're trying to kill him before it that matters anyway. So the most effective element against Slepnir is going to be dark, followed really closely by fire and water, but for the most part you're going to want to stick with dark to get rid of the crystals. But, this is kind of a weird fight because you can completely ignore the crystals and still kill Slepnir if you have a lot of uh, gear that uh, hits the nearest enemy. So, keep that in mind as well. The front row of crystals restores 50% of max health and light attack counterattack to sell for 3 turns. The back row of crystals do the same thing, but they also generate the holy field and the high holy field on 7 and 8 stars. So, uh, basically I'm using mainly all Aesir besides uh, Genesis Ymir because of Sandgrid's passive, which um, is makes everybody's dark attacks hit a lot harder. And also she has uh, all stats 15% up to all Aesirs in your party. So the only reason I'm really using Ymir and you can see he's getting petrified because I don't have a hard stone on him is because his attacks mainly ignore all barriers. So or shields. No, I think it's barriers. All in all, for me, this used to be a tough fight, but now it's really not. Brunhild and Sandgrid kind of make it easy mode. But this is going to be the first of the this series of videos. I'm going back through and I'm doing all the connect battles multi-solo like this. And just showing everybody how I'm doing it, basically. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to put up next. I have a whole bunch of them recorded already. I just have to edit them and stuff like that. But this one was requested first, so I finished it first. And see, the last one makes it a little bit tough because he keeps wanting to heal himself. It really depends on how often he uses his auto skill, how, how hard it is, or how long it takes to kill him. And so here we go with the damage, which is going to be different because I can't individual damage. And there you go, so have a good day.